Hi, let's talk about after your first visit to my office. Hi, I'm Dr. Lisa Ann Homick from Homick Advanced Chiropractic and also Brain Sense Telehealth. So one arm is the chiropractic arm and this other arm, I only have two, is the Brain Sense Telehealth arm. But first, I want to talk about what happens after your first visit at the chiropractic office. Well, you get handed to you this huge packet and it is the orientation packet. In this video, I want to go over the orientation packet. Why? Because if you know me or you've been to me, you understand I cannot stop talking with excitement about chiropractic and my passion for chiropractic. So I talk a lot. I talk a lot and I throw a lot of information at you. And I understand it can be overwhelming. They say you only remember 10%. That's a myth. We don't know for sure. But what are you going to do with all this information? Well, I want you to take a breather because this video is here to help you go through the information. I'm going to take the packet page by page and discuss it. So if you don't want to read it, you can just watch and you can listen. And the packet is thick because everybody learns in a different way or they're looking for different information to connect it to their health and it's a very thick packet and that can be overwhelming first of all just meeting me and talking to me is overwhelming I hope the ones the ones who have come to the office uh, enjoy my personality uh, I'm not for everybody that's why there's an orientation video to watch and you decide what you what kind of chiropractic care you want because we're all different you're different I'm different and one size does not fit all and I hope I am helping you personalize your own self-care because your self-care is what's going to be the glue between visits between your chiropractic visits and hopefully you are coming for maintenance visits not um, intervention visits because if you wait until things are really bad you've lost a lot of time and you may have invited fibro fibrosis and maybe some scar tissue so don't wait too long never wait too long chiropractic is about promoting your healing and being a partner with your healing not waiting until the last minute so let's talk about the orientation packet I added a new page to it and I'm gonna go over it right now so if you've got the old orientation packet I can give you this page you can update your packet and add to it so welcome to the world of chiropractic mind body wellness because the mind and the body they really can't be separated and that's pretty interesting that's pretty cool so why am I here as a chiropractor me myself my personal mission is one to stop the fear two to reacquaint you with your body three to teach you why everything the body does is correct everything even even the body responses you don't like they're happening for a reason and four to teach you how to be a true partner with your body so what can chiropractic care do for you well the adjustment calms the fear stress response of the nervous system it's going to calm those hyperactive or frenzied brain waves and I talk about that in previous videos the adjustment also increases self-awareness so you can appropriately evaluate your body stress response sooner rather than later and people tell me they feel more awake they notice their body uh, change they know they notice changes much sooner they just they're better in tune with their body they they feel real reconnected and that's a wonderful thing when you say I feel really connected with my body and if you think back to way the way you were prior it's so much better than to feel like you are at the mercy of your environment that's not how we want you to go through life 
So it's a new attitude. And sometimes it's, it's a newly discovered opportunity for you. Uh, the adjustment helps you heal more efficiently. We just know that from understanding the physiology of the body and what happens when you get adjusted. And I think there is a page in your orientation packet about what happens after an adjustment. I'll get to that. And the adjustment is much more effective when your body has adequate nutrients, has adequate movement, adequate rest, and creative outlets. So, in other words, put balance into your life. So, at the bottom of this page is my map of the chiropractic nervous system um, illustration. So you gotta, you gotta take a look at this. So this is the new one. Ask me for it. It's a new page to the orientation packet. Now, page two. People who love life love chiropractic. So do you love chiropractic? Not yet? Not sure? Do you love life? Gosh, I hope so. So people hate back pain, they hate neck pain, they hate headaches, and they hate low energy, and they call me up. So that's the starting point. Back pain, neck pain, headaches, low energy, and other similar uh, scenarios. My job is to flip you. You call me, but I'm gonna flip you. If you love your hobbies, love your social connections, love living with a personal purpose and enjoying each day, you give back to the brain and the body that has made you the special person that you are. That's it. No hate. We don't need to be hating. It's, it's too negative of a word. The special person that you are deserves an innate intelligence freely flowing your brain energy through the wide open floodgates of your spine. People who love life love the idea of keeping those floodgates wide open. This is almost like poetry. Do you hear it? Do you feel it? And we do it together. We do it with enthusiasm and we do it with the BFA protocol. Brain first always. You can get sucked into the negative loop of life falling apart or you can be recharged and ready to live your mission. So that's page two. Rather than focusing on pain, I want you to focus on your mission in life, why you're here. Because I want to help you accelerate that mission and amplify your mission and just have a good time living your life. Now, chiropractic, lifestyle care, page three. A seven-year study showed that patients whose primary care doctor was a chiropractor experienced the following results. One, 60% less hospitalizations, 85% less pharmaceutical costs, 59% less days in the hospital, and 62% less outpatient surgeries. So some people who come to me may want to talk about loving life, enjoying life. Some people are the bean counters and they want to know that they're saving money and that they are avoiding the hospital, they're avoiding outpatient surgery, and they're avoiding drug use, especially when it's expensive. And some of these new non-generic pharmaceuticals are quite expensive. So if that's what you're looking for, you are in the right place. Page four. The benefits of the adjustment studied and measured. And I have the information, the, the journals, and where this information came from. But in the short version right here, the adjustment influences the prefrontal cortex of the brain, which is the conductor of the whole brain, the conductor of a huge train um, with a bunch of train cars, or a conductor of an orchestra making beautiful music. That conductor is aware of every musician in front of him or her. The prefrontal cortex is that conductor. You can influence the following things with a chiropractic adjustment. Your movement, your coordination, your thinking, your focus, your behavior, your goal-directed tasks, decision-making, memory, attention, intelligence, 
pain processing, emotional response to pain, autonomic function, huh, just about everything, motor control, eye movement, spatial awareness, fall prevention, muscle strength, pelvic floor control, so that's in the lower body, and mental rotation of objects. What else have we noticed when people get adjusted? There's a normalizing of blood pressure, mood and attention improvement, blood glu glucose efficiency, which decreases insulin resistance, improvements and or reversal of neurodegenerative brain physiology, epigenetic changes, increased ATP, telomere shortening, going to influence that. Heart disease, because the number one contributor to heart disease is increased and sustained sympathetic tone. A lot of big words here. Look it up. Look them up. This is exciting because right now I'm just trying to get through my list for you. Immune system definitely impacts the effectiveness of the immune system. Uh, brain changes, especially when we talk about psychological talk therapy, chiropractic actually gives you a better benefit than talk therapy. Now, I came from a mental health background, so I believe you gotta put both together. Your talk therapy and your chiropractic care, do that at the same time. Jeez, on the same day if you can, that's just exciting. And if you want more information about this, talk to me because I've got, I've got all this information tucked away in my office. Chiropractic was shown to improve muscle strength, stability, and fatigue more in one session compared to three weeks of weight training. Now, I do not encourage you to give up your exercise and give up your weight training. Do both. Get your adjustments and continue your weight training. What a great combination. Uh, let's see, chiropractic adjustments increases mobility and reduces spinal degeneration. Now remember, it only takes 10 to 14 days for de de degeneration to take hold after an abrupt cessation of mobility, whether it's by just being more sedentary or having an injury. We want to nip that in the bud, and you do that with chiropractic care. Five times better... This is the adjustment, five times better at musculoskeletal pain reduction than Celebrex and Viox combined. Viox is no longer on the market um, for bad reasons. People died and that's off the market. But um, because of the high use of pain medications, isn't chiropractic the sensible alternative when you think about what it does to your organs. So that's page, was that page four? Page four. <clears throat> Next page, the Windsor autopsies. One of the reasons why I became a chiropractor. At the University of Pennsylvania, Dr. Henry Windsor conducted an experiment based on chiropractors claiming that by adjusting the vertebra, they can relieve stomach troubles, ulcers, menstrual cramps, thyroid conditions, kidney disease, constipation, heart disease, lung, and other diseases. In this experiment, he dissected both human and animal cadavers to see if there was any relationship between any diseased internal organs discovered on autopsy and the vertebra and nerves that went to those organs. Dr. Windsor dissected 75 human and 72 cat cadavers, humans and cats. He found nearly 100% correlation between minor curvatures of the vertebra and the diseased internal organ. So let me name these organs. Heart disease, lung disease, stomach disease, liver disease, gallbladder, pancreas, spleen, kidney, prostate and bladder, and uterus. When was this published? Let me, let me look at the fine print down here. Oh, evidence is... Medical Times, 
November 1921. A hundred years ago, almost, because it's not 2021 yet. Happy New Year, everybody. One hundred years ago, people were talking about chiropractic, Windsor autopsies, and how the nerves are connected to the organs, and how the spine plays such an important role. One hundred years ago, I didn't know this until I was... Mm -hmm. 29 years old so I missed the beginning of my life I missed out on this information it's not wasn't taught in high school not taught in college uh, barely taught in chiropractic college that's one of my pet peeves here and that's why I'm making you aware so that's page page five of the orientation packet so that's the beginning of your chiropractic orientation when you're reading the orientation packet. I'm stopping here. I'm going to do part two in a couple of days, but because I'm already at 16 minutes here. That this information, I don't want you to forget. It's in your orientation packet that I gave you. Some people may never look at it again. They may never read it. They may crumple it up and put it in the back seat of their car after their first visit. But now you have a chance to watch this video and uh, learn about this. And you also may want to just refresh your memory. We lose, we, we lose track of everything because we're just living day in and day out, taking care of business at hand. I don't want you to forget this information. So review it from time to time. This is life-changing information, <clears throat> and that's the whole reason I'm here, because I want you to not have that fear. I want you to be reacquainted with your body. This is important stuff. So, I'm stopping here. Read the blog, createpurpose.com. Look at the other videos. Get in touch with me to start some Brain Sense telehealth sessions. Share the video, like it, subscribe if you haven't already, and just let other people know they don't have to have the fear and they can be reacquainted with their body. We need your full participation in the world and you cannot do it with an impaired brain. Thanks for watching.